Good morning, friends and family all over the world. Uh, my name is Marlon. Uh, I'm here at Transwest Truck Trailer RV here in Frederick, Colorado. Um, today, as you can see, I want to bring to you a 2020 Freightliner M2106. Conversion is Summit Hauler. As you can see right now, we are hooked up on a Samurai um, toy hauler. Um, this, is, uh, this actually has the outlaw living quarters inside hooked up to our Freightliner right now. The stock number on this Summit 2020 Summit hauler is 5N192. Uh, 190247. As you can see right now, we tried to complement the color of the freight liner to the color of the toy hauler. Like I said, this one has a living quarters as well. So anybody with, uh, you know, all those motorcycles or, you know, uh, side by sides and stuff like that, four wheelers and stuff like that, this is a, the exact trailer for you guys right here. Um, and with this Summit hauler, as you can see, it complements the trailer. So we could actually give you a great package when it comes to, you know, our freight liners and our horse trailers or our toy haulers and stuff like that. So uh, come check it out. So right now we're going to start off with the engine on this freight liner. Um, on each side of the freight liner, we have clips on here to keep that uh, secure. OK, so we unclip on both sides as we already did right now. Um, very easy to open. It has a handle in the front end of this. All you have to do is simply pull it back. And as you can see, we could see everything in the engine. This Freightliner comes with a Cummins 8.9 liter engine L9. And it carries uh, 350 horsepower and 150 foot pounds of torque. Um, Allison 3200. TRV six speed automatic transmission. As you can see, this engine has so much space in it that you could easily work, um, the mechanics and stuff could easily work through it. As you can see, I could fit right between the tires and actually see everything on this side and on the other side of the, of the vehicle. Um, as you can see, we could see the fuel filter right here, our power steering fluid. Um, and everything on the engine, like your, your oil levels and everything like that, is easily accessible. Um, one good thing about this as well, once this is closed, um, let, me, let me try to close it right now. And check how this doesn't just dump on your head. So for safety, uh, it has a very a soft close to it. So it doesn't injure you when you're closing or injure anybody else when you're closing it. Um, as you can see, we had the negative and positive jump here, so easily accessible for if you have to, you know, get a jump on that truck. As we continue here, the tires on here is Michelin's. It has 255, 22.5 on here. Um, as we continue, this is here is the engine block heater. So you just plug it into your 110. Um, two 50 gallon diesel tanks, 50 on this side and 50 on the other side. A six gallon def tank, easily accessible over here as well. Um, this here is a plug to actually power your cabin once you park like at a you know, racing track or something like that um, to use not to use the battery power you could actually plug this in uh, this extension actually goes pretty long right now it's tied up in the back for safety reasons of course um, but this actually goes a long way and um, easily stored as we continue um, just want to quickly show you guys it has two compressors underneath the truck one is a primary for our air supply um, one is our primary and one is our secondary. So as you can see, they're easily located right beneath the back cabin. Uh, tons of storage all around the truck. Um, three on each side on this particular truck. Um, 
other people, we have some people that could actually um, add more storage if you build one. Or we have, we have one actually with a ton of storage on it. Some people put storage on the, on the top here and you could actually add a storage bin up here as well. So it all depends on the model. Um, you can find more storage in those uh, freight liners. Um, we have a valve right here. So if in case you guys are camping or any of your four wheelers or anything needs air, you could actually attach and put air into um, whatever you need. Um, and each cabin has a light up here. So in the night, you could see everything inside your storage area. As we continue, we have a smaller storage here in the back. Also another light in here as well. So as we continue guys on this side, this truck comes with a dump um, for the back end of the truck. And right now I'm gonna show you some cool stuff about it. Before I hooked up this trailer this morning, um, I was able to dump the back of the truck back into it and then hook it up and then actually lift it up. And I'll show you this cool feature right now. So right now, before I even dump it, you could see the, the space in between the tire and the truck. And I will show you the difference when I dump it, okay? When we go inside later, I'll show you that switch to dump the, uh, the back of the truck. So right now that truck is dumped and you can see the difference between you know the tire and the back of the truck on the dump which is very easy like you don't have to leave the trailer too high to back into it and right now i'm going to release it so you guys will see you know the difference as it raises up Awesome. Yep, so it's all air compressed, so the airbags will drop and actually allows it to dump in the back. So that's a cool feature as well. Um, on this trailer and uh, this truck also, it's a, goose, a gooseneck hookup. So right now this is a gooseneck uh, trailer head. So we are able to hook that on here and plug it onto our seven pin, um, very accessible in the back of the truck. For instance, if you wanna um, add more cameras to that V um, to that truck, we have one camera right now on the back of the truck so you can see exactly um, what's happening in the back of this truck. But if you have a trailer with a camera, you could actually hook up additional cameras to here and it will show you on the screen in the bed of the truck, in the head of the truck. So I'll show you the screen once we get inside the truck and kind of uh, give you an idea of you know, the cameras, how it's gonna show on that screen. So you could add cameras to, some trailers come with camera hookups, some don't, you could add cameras to it and hook it up right here. Um, it does have a trailer hitch on here. Um, so this, for a bumper pull, so you could actually take this off and it has all the connections inside there as well. So anything you wanna tow in this one is actually pretty good. More storage guys and more lighting in each storage like i said at night um, if you guys uh, have stuff inside and want to see inside there we have lights in all our storage bins um, continue with more storage like i said three on each side tons of room tons of lighting and as you can see around the door here this secures you from any water or moisture going inside it's nice and sealed once you close this up easily and all our storage is lockable so if you have valuable stuff inside there you could lock it and of course nobody could enter it once it's locked as we take a look in the back the back seat does fold into a bed and I am 5'10 and of course for my kids that are way shorter than me can easily rest here very comfortable 
hair in the back of the truck. Um, it does fold back into a chair, and I'll show you guys that. The controls are actually on the driver's side, um, and all you do is press that button, falls back into a chair. Which is pretty cool. Tons of room in the back here. We got switch switches here that kind of give you reading lights for the back end and some designer lights here as well. For our kids or family sitting in the back, we have a DVD player. Um, you guys could hook it up um, on here. It has an additional HDMI cable hookup for this screen where you could bring your game consoles on the move, actually play some game and stuff while dad or mom is driving um, on this one. And as we continue in the front of the truck, um, passenger side, one thing I want to show you guys is on the other side of the passenger, we have air ride seats. And right now there is no air in that seat. So I will show you guys how this works. Right now I'm putting air in here. Okay, releasing the air and adding air to the seat. So the seat actually rises with you. So it actually raises you right now, which is pretty cool. All right, Charity, I'll make you jump inside and show a little stuff, show a little more of the features inside that M2 106. Also the driver's seat does have that air ride seats as well, release in and inflate. Full gauge for gas, air, um, your fuel level, transmission, all, all, all pressure and everything like that, air pressure. Um, it does come with power windows, power locks, cruise control, it's automatic, so it does have that automatic control. There is no park, so in neutral and releasing the air brake um, will allow you to park. Um, earlier I showed you the dump on the back. This is the switch right here, um, which allows you to dump it. Once the light is on, that's when the back is actually dumping. Once the light is off and you release it, the, the back comes back up so you know when it's on or off um, on that on the truck so um, again um, if you guys have any further questions on certain features on this vehicle please let us know the seats does come with heated and cooling um, here is a screen I was telling you guys earlier about um, it does give you that reverse camera look right now we are hooked up to that trailer so you can see the trailer back right on here and once you add more cameras this the screen will actually split into four and then you can add those additional cameras so again guys this truck is an amazing truck um, any other questions or concerns um, let us know if you have any additional questions feel free to reach out to me uh, my name is Marlon Bledman once again number here is 661-755-4344 uh, or you can call me at my desk at 303 Six eight four three four one two. Um, my email is marlon.bledman at transwest.com um, for any further questions or if you're interested in coming and see this vehicle um, face to face, uh, there is an option for you as well. So Marlon here at Transwest Truck Trailer RV here in Frederick, Colorado, saying goodbye till we meet again for our next video right here. Thank you very much. Goodbye.